A mother scared for her child's safety after she was attacked by several Northeast high school students in the hallway. The fight was recorded on video. Now we've watched the video, but have decided not to use it because minors are involved. Ainsley Nichols sat down with the mom of one of the students who was attacked. Ainsley, what did she tell you? Well, Frank, Tasha Williams has a lot of questions after seeing that video of her daughter being attacked at school. She is wondering why the students would do this to her daughter and how it even happened during school hours. It had over 7,000 views probably in, in, in two, three hours and they constantly beating my daughter. Tasha Williams recalls seeing a graphic video of her daughter being brutally attacked in the hallway at Northeast High School. She had a shoe print still on her forehead. Um, she had a facial contusion, she had a chest cavity contusion, and a mild concussion. Bibb County Schools spokeswoman Stephanie Hartley says two students were the target of a fight by several other students during a class change on Wednesday. Nobody stopped the fight. It just eventually stopped, but nobody stopped this fight. Hartley says the fight allegedly started when a male student threatened to slap a female student on Tuesday. The school sat the students down to resolve the issue, and the next day other students started a fight with Williams' daughter and her friend. Now Williams is questioning school security. Where was the staff? Where was the campus police? And her daughter's safety. They could have killed my child. I sent her to school one way and she coming back another. Hartley says seven students were charged with aggravated battery and now face disciplinary action by the school. We got to protect our kids. We got to set an example because we let them uh, pat them on the hand. They're going to go out and do it again. And Barbara Calloway told us by phone that her son was the other student attacked. She says the school tribunal has dealt with this dispute three times and always declines to do anything. She says this could have been avoided. Frank and Lori, we asked Hartley about these comments, and she said the school can't discuss specific disciplinary actions because of school policy. Back to you. Thank you, Inslee. The school system went on to say the safety and security of our students and staff is our top priority, and we take all incidents seriously.